This is SportsCenter. to get something good on this possession. Stop the momentum. And there's another steal. Back to him. Breaking news, Derrick Rose tore his meniscus in a game against Portland Trailblazers. On the phone, we have Dr. Kenny Crummins to tell us more about this injury. Dr. Crummins, what is the meniscus and what is its purpose? The meniscus is a cushion. It's a little rubbery gasket or a cushion. I use the term shock absorber. And we have two of them in each knee. We have a medial meniscus and a lateral meniscus. The meniscus is the white rubbery cushion that protects us. It acts as a, um, a, a small joint protector between the femur and the tibia. So it's the main protector from shock or impact is protecting us when we run, when we jump, when we squat or twist. How common is a torn meniscus and what causes a tear? The meniscus is a tear is the most common thing that I see as a knee surgeon and most orthopedic surgeons. It's very, very common. 850,000 meniscal surgeries are done in the United States every year. It's that wow. common. And it's torn with pivoting, rotating where your foot is planted and your body moves. So a squatting, rotating type injury, which we do in sports, we do it in all day daily activities, and we do it at work. How do you treat a torn meniscus? Sometimes they heal, sometimes we try some ice and anti-inflammatories and we get the fluid to calm down in the knee. And if it's a tear in the right area or the peripheral area of the meniscus, which would be the outside, of the meniscus, they have good blood supply to the outside of the meniscus. They can heal over two to three months with rest. The majority, 95% of these meniscus tears occur in the white area, avascular area that doesn't get blood supply. And if you tear there, the only fix uh, is trimming it out Thank and you, removing Thomas. it. So Jonathan, what do you think caused Rose's injury? Well, okay, I think it had to do with many things. As a basketball player, he must face a lot of use on his knees. And there's a lot of force on his meniscus when he lands and even when he's quickly changing directions. And one third of the time, these types of injuries can happen just out of bad luck. However, during his backdoor cut, he saw him in a really awkward position. Right here, we can see that Rose stops really hard on his right knee and then tries to change directions to go back on defense. He was also bending down pretty low, which probably also had an effect on his injury. He stops on his left knee, probably because the change in direction was too much. He must have felt some popping sensation in his right knee and a lot of pain. We saw him jumping off the court, probably because his knee locked up and he wasn't able to bend it properly. The extreme force on his knee must have had something Yeah, to but the change in motion in the stop didn't seem too extreme. I felt that the left knee had more force and the pivot was more drastic. I think Derrick Rose was just unlucky this time. But the real question is, what treatment is he going to get and how serious is the injury? Well, from the causes of injury that we just mentioned, I don't think the injury is too severe. Most basketball players want to get back into the game as fast as possible, so they'll try and get the damaged part of their meniscus removed. However, Rose is a young player. Most players who have their meniscus removed will face some issues with arthritis later on in their lives. I think Rose will most likely try to get his meniscus repaired and let it heal for this reason. I agree. It would take much longer to recover, but he is young so he can still afford it. Too bad 3D printed meniscus implants haven't finished clinical trials yet. That would have been a better option as he would return earlier than a meniscus repair surgery. But one thing is for sure, he is out for the season due to this injury. You got that right, Kite. He might as well get his meniscus repaired because no matter what, he won't be able to come back this season. But it's always sad to see a player get injured right after they make a return to the game. I agree, Jonathan. Don't change his channel. We'll be right back after break. <laughs> 